Hello, this mic. Can you hear me, guys? Uh, okay, okay. Oh, there's <laughs> thing. Okay, before I start uh, my presentation, I pass around, just uh, help me pass around these uh, things that I made so that everyone can. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Um, yes, good evening to all of you. Um, Apparently, this is my uh, uh, this is my uh, first time actually uh, presenting in Hackware. I've been uh, I've been a uh, Hackware uh, enthusiast for uh, almost a year. Now it's my time. So <laughs> yeah, so I I, I started three D printing uh, around seven months ago when I when I bought my first three uh, D printer, the Dremel. So yeah, I really had fun. So I'll, I'll share to you how how I did all these things. And so this is gonna be a, like a uh, a photo gallery thing, things of uh, things I made. So, so brace yourselves. Okay. So what I do? So basically, I'm a coder. So just like anyone, anyone else in the room, uh, the reason why we are we're in hardware is because we both love to code and do hardware, right? So it's. So I'm a professional uh, software developer for uh, doing uh, business applications, uh, and um, yeah, so if you know these logos, and then probably you, know, you should know I'm. And then uh, also I make uh, I am a fan of Arduinos and Raspberry Pis and everything that's embedded. So ever since I was a kid, like before I started computing, I I was hacking all my cousins' toys because I was like <laughs> they didn't know that all the toys in the in the uh, cabinet is like all are, are spoiled <laughs> because I I messed it all up, messed it all up. So so that's how I started uh, you know uh, starting uh, asking myself uh, how things work. Then I just do it and you know hack it. Then learn from it at the same time. Okay, so why did I choose Dremel? Uh, there are a lot of pretty printers out there. Uh, you know, from 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 as a maker, right? The the the, the normal choice of pretty printers, three D printers, would be like a, the do it yourself kind of thing, right? Like the wrap wrap. So I, so like people, as I said, some people say I don't have, I got. I got, I got, uh, I don't, I got, I don't have any time for, for, for building all these things uh, from, from, from the ground up. So I was thinking of why, why not buy something that is really, you know, when one, once you plug it in and everything's in there, you no, know, you just like out of the box, it will just work. So it will, uh, you know, because my, I've been, I've been, uh, you know, uh, using Dremel for quite a long time. So since I'm a maker, I, I do a lot of things with wood. Uh, Different uh, 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 materials, wood, metals, plastics. So this is my best friend. So I trust this brand. And then, yeah. And then uh, one one time uh, about eight months ago, I was googling for a, a good 3D printer, and I, and I found that you know Dremel has a, a 3D printer. So I just you know uh, did a review, and then there. It's not uh, the best, probably not the best 3D printer you can find. It's, it's a hobbyist friendly, hobbyist friendly 3D printer. So it's the build the build, the build space is not really that that big. But if you're just you know, trying to test it out, you know, try to do do some uh, some um, uh, exploration how 3D printers work and how just to, to do the basic things like how to create your own uh, um, you know casing for Arduino. <laughs> so instead of buying it or even like so. There's a lot of things I, I, I love about Dremel, but uh, like I said, it's not really a, a, a commercial kind of uh, 3D printer that you, that you would buy, so it's for personal thing. So the reason why I bought this is it's very easy to set up and use, just like you know, uh, an, uh, a plug-and-play uh, printer, uh, a jet laser printer or inkjet printer, just plug it in, and then, um, of course, you should open the box first and <laughs> plug it in, and then uh, set it up. It's very easy to set up. No need. Actually, the, when I you, when I open up my thermal, I didn't do any calibration at all. I just you know plug it in and uh, printed one of the uh, the uh, the stock uh, uh, 3D objects there, and then yeah, and, and then it printed very well. So the good thing about this also one is, is there is, they have these uh, touch screens and everything, and also it's very it's, it's the 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 bulk it's. It's nicely built and then it's fully encased, so safe for young children. 
And the cost, the, the, uh, the disadvantage is like, uh, it's only PLA. But for me, it's not a disadvantage because you know, I, I was printing a lot of things while I was sleeping. So <laughs> it's, if, it's, if it was a B, ABS, and it would probably uh, would die from, from, <laughs> from uh, poisoning or, some, or blood poisoning or something. I don't know. But yeah, I can sleep well while printing oh. it. But the things up in the, uh, in the morning, you probably uh, some have some some sort of a sweet light sweet taste on your mouth, and like there's a slippery <laughs> thing. But that's that's okay. I'm still alive, so it's <laughs> a good thing. Yeah. So there's no printed uh, the, like any other printers. Uh, there's no heated print bed, and yeah, like I said, uh, it's very small envelope, so you really can't print all those uh, things. Like I was actually looking looking for a. Uh, to print a violin, but it's too too bulky, too big. I, I couldn't do it in an interval. But yeah, these are my first prints. It's um, I was kind of impressed because uh, this is not the 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 big quality is very good. So, but also I explored something like you know uh, checking, getting from the internet, you know, if I could print something else like this Bulbasaur. So it's low poly, but it's still okay, still fine. And then I. My wife uh, found out that I was printing, you know, doing this 3D printing and stuff, and then she requested to me to print these lovely birds. <laughs> and then you know, I started you know, exploring more and more about which, what, what other things to, to print. It's like, uh, <laughs> this was totally endless. I, I really couldn't, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the uh, list of my wish list, uh, the, the, my wish list is very long, and I have to print it out, but you know, I have to wait, because 3D printing is a very long, tedious process, uh, process thing to do. And also this, uh, the, the, this thing I'm also working on, uh, embedded stuff, like uh, uh, Raspberry Pi. This is, uh, uh, I was building a, a cluster case. And also this one is for my, uh, we call this um, uh, wear wearable electronics projects, things. I don't know why it's, you know, this one is, this one is, I printed, I printed out out of, uh, just to, uh, sorry. Okay, it's, uh, I use it for uh, skating practice, inline skating. So yes, these are the cones. So it's, the, the thing about this is it, it has uh, marbles in it. So, so I print, while, while it's print, halfway printing, I drop the marbles and then let it continue doing the printing, so. Okay, so uh, uh, here's the thing. I didn't make all these prints, these 3D objects. So I didn't create it myself, so I still don't have the uh, this skills to, to do 3D modeling. But the good thing is, everything you need, practically, is in, in this website. Uh, just try to search for anything. Uh, you will probably find something that you, that you li would you like to print. So most of the prints are in, in, in uh, STL formats. And uh, it's kind of a lot of software is also available to, to, to be able to, 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 uh, to make changes to these uh, files. But yeah, so these are the, uh, the things that I found in, uh, in Thingiverse. Uh, yeah, like I mentioned, so I built, uh, sorry. Previous. Okay, so yeah, the, the ones I, uh, I, I, I sent you guys is the, uh, the one I built. So every, every single one of them is, is uh, being downloaded and being uh, sourced from uh, Thingiverse. So, what are the software I use? So it's Autodesk. Uh, basically, uh, Autodesk is just for uh, building, uh, creating supports. So you understand supports when you know, it's like, example, if you're printing L, something like that, uh, you, it's, it's 3D printing, it's like an uh, additive manufacturing thing, right? So if you print L, so you don't have no problem, but you print T, there's an overhanging uh, uh, left and right uh, uh, part there. So you have to be, you have to create supports for, for it to be able to print it. So this is the, uh, the one I'm showing you is actually a toy for my kid. So it's a marble machine. Uh, yeah, so it, it printed out right around one day <laughs> just to make it, just to build this. So yeah, so I use Autodesk to create the supports and then Dremel to print it, print it out. I don't know why it's not showing. Uh, maybe it's, okay, because the, Wait, sorry about that. Is it okay? Anyway, um, oh, 
shouldn't have used this. Uh, five. Oh shit! Uh, okay, now I'm. Sorry about that. <coughs> okay, I didn't expect that there. Uh, so there are two in here. I, I actually I show you one. Good thing I brought one. So I, I'm aside from this uh, mallet. So I'm using this as a, you know, uh, uh, as a scraper because this is the build. Uh, so this is the build uh, platform. So you don't need a heat bed. Just you know. It, it's it's a, it's a different material. I don't know about the material, but it's just simply sticks the, all the, the 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 print stick onto it. So if, even I've used it many times already, it still the the PLA still sticks on it. So it's good. So I'm using this and a mallet, especially if the um, the print is, the print area is so wide, so it sticks really hard. So you need you need, you need the mallet to pry it up. But yeah, that's. And yeah, it, it, this this is this is gonna be hack where if, if I do if I didn't do any hacks, right? <laughs> so that's why uh, uh, the problem with 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 Dremel is uh, you can only use one spool, uh, one kind of spool, uh, the one that come the that Dremel is actually selling. But you know, a lot of people I have seen in the in in in, in the internet and this they actually created uh, some sort of adapter so that if you have uh, different spools, the reason why uh, I I wanted to, to to use different spools because I. I wanted to save on the the, the filaments, so there are there are cheaper filaments that I could use, like the the one. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Oh, sh I don't know what's going on previously. Okay, so I created an adapter, and. Uh, Oh shit! So I should have. Oh. Shit. Anyway, uh, I did. So that's why I, I, yeah, I created an adapter for 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 uh, the, the this this uh, new spool, so I could save on uh, filaments. And then, um, yep, I think that's that's about it. So thanks for your time and uh, nothing there.